I am here to complete the office administration trade. Completing office administration is the first part of the program for the students that decide to take the special uses path. I didn't know what I wanted to do in life and my cousin actually went through a Job Corps program and she was telling me about it and how it helped her with her CNA and how she's now in advanced training for nursing. So I was like, I like doing office work, I like customer service and I noticed that they had an office administration program and I feel like that could help me work more on my skills. So I chose to come to Job Corps to try it out. Here to take advantage of the opportunities that Job Corps is providing to better my life and my future. The reason come through our program here, this is an easy career pathway for young folks if they want to get a career through the Forest Service. We're the only Job Corps center in the country that uh, uh, provides a special uses uh, program. From what I've heard of Job Corps, it provides different opportunities that I think are beneficial to my future and my growth and it can also help me um, with my financial status as well as responsibility in becoming an adult. They um, have learned to, to work with computers, they've um, learned just the general office customer service skills, and more importantly than that, they've learned the employability skills to allow them to go into an internship, learn the special uses process, go through the modules of learning this, what special uses is, and then they're more ready to tackle that internship and then which will lead hopefully to the full-time job with the Forest Service. I was kind of at a stuck path in life. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had a degree, but I was like, I, I didn't want to pursue nursing anymore. I need something new. Once they finish the curriculum uh, in special uses through our office administration, we will land them internships. We have a lot of partners all over the country with uh, a local forest. Exposure is always the key. And so how do you expose young African-Americans, young people of diversity, people of color, how you bring them to this atmosphere? I truly believe that in order to bring people into this particular line of work, we have to start not at the high school, but at the elementary school. We need to start exposing young people of color right now to conservation, to forestry, to understanding that this is a great, uh, excellent career path to be able to take. People would like to have their weekends off. Well, in this job, it's almost every day it's a weekend because you will enjoy going out to the forest, seeing different people, exploring different opportunities to bring people to the forest to understand that. That's how I say we will bring people into this particular program. Well, the benefit I feel like for that with special uses is being able to give back to the same thing that's actually helped build you up in a way and also help give back to the community while still making a good amount of money so you can sustain yourself financially and also broaden your horizons throughout the country. Uh, they're ready to accept these young folks in and once they get there, it's a win-win situation. It's a good fit for both the districts on the forest and the student where they can see that's what they want to do. We put them on these internships where they can get a stipend and once they complete either the RAP program or the public land courts program, then they can have this special hiring authority where they do not have to compete for these jobs.